Hello, heading the cow, sp uh, cow speed uh, karting. Yep, have a great weekend. Thank you, you too, have a good day. Anyone out there enjoy go-karting? How about endurance racing? Well, today you're in for a treat. I'm at Cal Speed Karting here in Fontana, California, where I am meeting up with my teammates, the well-rounded and gifted Tanner Faust and Patrick Long, factory Porsche driver and brother of Kevin Spanky Long, professional skateboarder. And we will be driving in a 12 hour endurance cart race. I don't know what I got into, but my buddy Batim from BBI called me up and he invited me out to this. I'm here to have fun, but I'm also here to win. We have some of the most skilled drivers in motorsports, but we haven't driven a cart in years. I mean, I go to K1, I do pretty good, but I haven't been in my shifter cart I haven't been in a Rotex car in a long time. So I'm really looking forward to getting out here, getting up to speed and trying to get the big W, at least get on the podium this weekend. But you guys are in for a treat because I'm gonna bring you along this whole time and I may be looking a little different after the end of this, either with tears of joy or tears of pure pain because my back is going to be killing me. I guarantee it. What's up, buddy? How are you? This thing is sick. Thank you. Loving it. Well, here we are. Let's go say what's up to the fellas. Time to go rip on some carts. I think I see Tanner over here. What's up, buddy? Hey, holy shit, how you doing? Yeah, good. Good to see you. Got Tanner Faust in the house. The track looks pretty long. Cool. Yeah, I've ran this before, but not this configuration, so it's totally you different. You see how it's backwards? It is backwards, going backwards, huh? and then there's like these kind of chicanes in here and everything. Looks cool though, it makes it long. And then you got like 60 of these to look out for, and I guess these are just like bumper cars. Oh my god. We're in a four-stroke, four-stroke, uh, four-stroke uh, brakes and straps. Yeah, it's just a little bit faster than these, but without the bumpers. So basically, we're like targets to get broken yeah. by these guys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How much parting you do? It's been man, it's almost been like a decade. That's what that's what they all say. But I've done a lot. I mean, in the past, yeah, yeah but. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure my neck's going to be sore, my knees oh, are going to totally. be sore. But it's been a while, you know, like like you, I think like you, I didn't really grow up karting. I don't know, did you grow up karting? I did, I actually, oh, did. I okay. didn't grow up karting, but I got into it for a few years before I got into racing. That's oh, pretty much I how I got started racing, oh, was karting. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I went, I did spec Ford racers, which are these generic SCCA club cars. That yeah. was the first cars I went in, so I never really did these. That's why I consider this a Pat Long and now Bucky Lassick yeah. racing course. You know who's actually pretty fast is the Tim. Is he good? Yeah, he's That's actually awesome. fast. So last time we were racing with him, he was actually the guy who ended up qualifying. Really? Yeah. But I think he's put on a few pounds since then, so I don't know. Allegedly. Yeah. Well, he's got babies. <laughs> you know? Yeah, corner weight, you know? <laughs> I say we put the ringer in first, and then we pick his brain. This guy. No, this guy. <laughs> this is the over 40 team. <laughs> We're coming for you. how hard carting is on one like your thumb pad like this area right here yeah the uh, inside of the knees from the gas tank from like from hugging oh yeah fair enough and your freaking neck and this is the thing like you're oh my gosh feel that so i don't have a carting helmet oh man it's so heavy oh my god i, mean, I got radios i got hans devices and shit in here 
And so that's, I was looking for the lightest helmet yeah. that I had and I don't have one. Perfect. Like a glove. Okay, so he did say it's perfect, and at this point, we'll just take that as no excuses moving forward. Morning, good to see you. Uh, the orange stanchions over there and right here, just start getting in the habit of stopping in those two spots. Those stop are stop boxes. Okay. You hear that, Pat? Yeah, where's the other one? It's, there's one over there, the orange stanchions, and then right here, that's it. And no skidding? Oh, no, you, as long as you fit inside the box. Okay. Today's the day to figure it out. Okay. I barely reached the pedals, so I have other problems. <laughs> grip up front so you just have to balance because you're overstuck up front so you can lose the rear yeah you don't need a lot of brakes other than like right here and that's about it and then this section right here is super technical and it's all about give and take yeah you take a lot out of the right you got to pay in the left but what you're trying to do is get a decent run all these pro guys are beating us on the uphills because they're just they're getting a run out yeah, yeah. here we go first laps in the cart That was a workout. <laughs> By about 10 laps, I had learned the track and got comfortable in the car and got up to speed with some of the other fast guys. Um, I got a rocking team, Patrick Long, Tanner Faust, Tim Barisha from BBI Autosport, Steve, and Race. Actually, Race is the one who qualified last night. We are running his chassis the chassis that he manufactures and I'll tell you more about that or at least drop the link below so you can check it out so he qualified us in p3 which is super fast unfortunately Tanner went out yesterday without a rib protector for one session and totally smoked his rib cage uh, the tracks really bumpy so he was hitting some G's in the turns and I guess the seat just bruised his rib really bad. I've been giving him CBD, MD and everything, but I think it's probably gonna take a few days to heal. So Tanner's on the fence on if he's gonna drive today. So we might be down one driver. So it just makes longer stints for us. But I'm pulling up to the racetrack now. We have a driver's meeting at eight and carts go out at nine. So the race is from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 12-hour race. There's two classes running, the Pro Kart, which I'm in, and the Super Kart, 
or super sport cart, which is the school carts that have the bumpers around them. So those guys kind of like somewhat bounce off of each other and it's kind of hard to distinguish who's in what cart. Of course, we can tell because we're coming up from behind so we can tell how to race people, but they don't know. So these are a bunch of novices that have paid for the seats. They have teams of four or five guys that are here. Who knows what kind of party they were at last night. And I don't know how where they are on the track. So you basically can't just hook it in there and expect for them to uh, be able to compensate for, for uh, stuffing it in there under the brake. So you have to drive a little bit more on the caution side with these guys because you want to save the cart. You don't want to destroy the cart. And I want to make it through the whole race. I want to finish and potentially get on the podium. That's the goal is to get on the podium. So just going to try to avoid all accidents, play it safe, be fast, and enjoy some cart time. I also want to mention that I think we're going to call our team Midlife Crisis Racing or Midlife Cry Racing. Bucky, this is Brendan. He's going to help us out today as well. Hey, how yeah. you doing? Nice Good, are you? going to be the head chef. Look who finally showed up to his own event. Hey, guys. <laughs> Better late than never. I had to let Tanner get his ribs dislocated for me to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like jumping in during a race and never even sitting in this thing before. Yeah, or running the track or anything. <laughs> Well, I love your style. We'll do it. I'm excited, man. Hey, fellas, I uh, I made our pit sign. You guys, hopefully you guys can see it. Let me take this. There. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Go fast. The other side should say. The other side should say, stay out. Yeah. Stop coming in the pit. Yeah. How's the? Don't touch it. Uh, it's, that, it's that sensitive. <laughs> Steve is starting the first stint. Here we go, boys. Go fast, baby. Go fast. Just want to go fast. Smart and fast. Gas is on the right. Got one holder. You got a driver across the track. Traditional Le Mans start. Uh, the, the key is to land on the throttle pedal as you pivot in the air. We'll see who's got the footwork. All right. And not hang up the sacks on the steering column. That's right. Yeah, do not catch the scrotum. So basically, Le Mans start is starting from across the track here. You can see all the drivers out there on the other side of the track. They run across, hop in the cart, and take off. We are sitting third, and then there's about 30 cars behind them. First driver change, Steve is out. That was brutal, huh? Brutal. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But damn. Cart was not working for him. It was not. It was not. See what the boys can do. Get after it. We got Patrick Long going in. We freed up some of the rear, uh, loosened the struts up in the rear, changed tire, tire pressures. passing for position right now. Yeah. Look at that number three in front of him. Yep. Oh, he's going to get him. Get oh. him, Pat! Come Go on, Pat! And we're thinking we were getting close to the fuel. It Dude, was about it started to stumble. Yeah. Did it? Because oh, okay. it was at about 2.15 run time. Right. And so that's why we asked if it was fuel. Yeah. And I was trying to say, like, it was like it an inch. It looked like it was like that We much. thought you were talking about your dick. Yeah, I know. I was, like, <laughs> driving around yeah. with a small fuel. I was like, bro, <laughs> get over it. How much the, fuel is there? The international fun <laughs> fuel. <laughs> Uh, Patrick gave you a push when you're leaving. He can't touch the driver when they're getting out.
second stint? Second stint. You already put in what an hour? Yeah. Or a little over an hour, right? Yeah. Now we get the uh, the money tires. Yeah, we both did stints on the harder tire, Not the harder good. compound. Now we're on the Hoosiers. Um, should be a couple seconds a lot faster. Yeah. So I expect you to pass a lot of people. All right. so much fun <laughs> oh. about to go out for my last stint You got it? Let's got it. Go start it. like five five more minutes go back out yeah and then we'll do driver change yeah all right so you're gonna go back out right yeah okay and then i'll wait for you out there we're ready to go yeah
Be careful with the brakes, okay? okay. Alright, that was good. 8-5. Solid. And that and they're cold as shit. If you hear this announcement, we do need Dude, the tires are so cold. Like when I went out, I almost oh. like I couldn't even. The car, the, it wouldn't even turn. Dude, I thought you were. I thought like something happened. You were like. No, I was just trying to get heat the in the tires. Oh, like that's how. Dude, they're, we just put them on, so they're super cold. Oh, I don't okay. know who else is putting cold those uh, those hards back on. Yeah. But when they do, dude, they better watch that first turn because that thing is not turning. Yeah. Well, but Tim's in for his last stint. I just finished up my last stint, and it was rough. It was seriously rough. Um, the brakes went to the floor. I had no brakes, so I, I did two laps, let the team kind of get ready for me to come in. And I was we were supposed to run the softs for like two more stints and change them after Batim. But since I was in getting the brakes fixed, we decided to put the, the hards back on because we have to finish the race on hards. Second turn, almost sent it into the barriers because it was like, it was like driving on ice. No, no matter what input I gave it, no matter what speed I was going at, it just went straight. So luckily there was no one around. I went straight a little bit, collected it. it took me about a lap and a half to actually get heat in the tires where I could actually use the brakes. The brakes aren't in great condition right now. Uh, I'd say they're probably 50% pedal. It almost goes all the way to the floor, but there is a little bit of bite. I'm not sure, but Tim's gonna be able to finish it off. It's super gnarly right now because there's two really hard braking points and I was babying it in. Plus the tires had no grip, so it was a battle. Out driving in the car right now is Race, who was originally here just the wrench. It's actually his cart, manufactured by him. But yeah, Race is out there. He's been in the cart for four hours. Two, two full tank stint runs. <laughs> Bucky and I can't even walk right now. <laughs> They're just two hours each. Chain just broke. Next time. So that's it for midlife caressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys Been take care. Just I've always wanted to say, let's get out of here. Em. Buck yeah, bro. Buck yeah. My name doesn't rhyme with anything. Wave your banner, vote for Tanner. That was literally, yeah. Try to keep a straight I'm face. I'm sure I could come up with one. I think I had a couple when you uh, ran me off the road a couple times. I think I came up with a the couple. The definition of, of run off really the road. Rhyme, it ain't really rhyme though. The definition of run <laughs> off the road. It's challenging. It's a racing incident, right? I don't remember.